Heather from Tiller. Tiller is the only personal finance service that keeps you on top of your money by automatically tracking your financial life in Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. In this Getting Started with Tiller video series, I'll show you how Tiller connects your banks and spreadsheets with a daily feed of your latest spending, income, and account balances. Tiller makes it easy to track all of your finances in one place. It also includes flexible templates that help you manage spending, analyze trends, and plan for your financial future. Later in this series, I'll walk you through the templates and share tips for making Tiller your own with custom categories and auto categorization rules. In our first video, we're going to explore how Tiller securely connects your banks to your spreadsheets and keeps them updated with your daily finances. So let's dive in. Okay, so we're gonna get started here. First, in order to start your free trial of Tiller, you'll visit the Tiller website at tillerhq.com and you'll click the Try Tiller Free button here in the upper right corner. Once you're on the pricing page, you can click the Start Your Free Trial button and that's gonna sign you up for Tiller. When you're first getting started with Tiller, you can choose to sign up with a Google or a Microsoft account. Either option will work, you'll get all the features with either account option that you choose. So I'm gonna choose Continue with Google here. And then it's gonna go ahead and create my account for me and then I'll be prompted to start my free trial my 30 day free trial with a 60 day money back guarantee by entering my credit card information. So I'm gonna enter my credit card information in here. My expiration date in there. Get my name and my address. And I don't want to save my info for one click, but I do need to agree to Tiller's Terms of Service, and then I can click Start Free Trial. And once again, this is a 30-day free trial. You can try it out. We'll charge you at the end of those 30 days, and then we also have a 60-day money-back guarantee. So now that we've got the free trial started, we can go ahead and start working on connecting our financial institutions. So in order to connect one of your banks, credit cards, loans, mortgage, investment accounts, we support all types of financial institutions. We have around support for about 10,000 different institutions, um, United States institutions specifically. We'll go ahead and click add accounts here, and this is going to bring up our secure connection portal. So we can search for the institution here. So I'm going to go ahead and search for uh, SoFi. So that's the first one I would like to connect. And I am going to go ahead and enter, enter my credentials in here. Once I've entered in my credentials, it's gonna securely verify my information. So what's happening is it is securely verifying my login information to establish that secure connection. Many financial institutions will ask you for a secondary authentication method. Usually that is a security code sent via email or text message. Um, oftentimes you can even choose which type of method you'd like to have it sent to, either text or email. In this case, it's asking me for a code that was texted to my cell phone, which I'm going to go ahead and grab that code. And then once it has securely verified the login information, it's gonna go out and is going to grab those accounts from my SoFi financial institution. Uh, it's gonna bring those accounts into Tiller. It's gonna start pulling the transactions from those accounts. Usually we can pull anywhere from 30 to 90 days worth of transaction data on that first pull. It's gonna vary by institution. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. It'll also go ahead and pull the balances for those accounts whatever the balances are today. So we won't pull any historical balance data, but we'll at least be able to pull the balances uh, for those accounts today. Um, so that is pulling in. So we'll just give it a minute there to finish pulling in that data. All right, so we've got our first account connected to Tiller. Let's go ahead and add one more account. So we'll go ahead and click the Add Accounts button to connect Capital One, which is an open banking connection. So go ahead and enter in those details. All right. 
right. So once again, it's also going to ask me for that secondary security code. And that's a good thing. It means the accounts are more secure to make sure that it's you that's actually connecting these accounts. Go ahead and enter that code in. So now we should be able to choose which accounts we would like for Tiller to connect. We'll review this information if we'd like. Let's see, get the continue button here. And then we just want to pull in this one card, go through the prompts to authorize, and then it should send us right back to Tiller where it's going to once again pull in that account, pull in the transaction data and the balance data, and then we can hit save and close. And Capital One being an open banking institution goes a lot faster. All right, so we've got those two financial institutions connected. Once again, we support more than 10,000 institutions from investments, mortgages, loans, any type of account you'd really like to connect, you should be able to get it connected to Tiller. We're here on the Tiller console. This is where you can manage those account connections. You can add more accounts here at the top if you'd like. You can edit the credentials for those connections if needed. Let's say you change the password, for example. You can also nickname your accounts by just choosing this edit option and then choosing rename if you'd like to give them a nickname. This is a good time to go ahead and do that. Uh, so feel free to customize this, add as many accounts as you'd like uh, to Tiller that you'd like to track to help you get all your uh, financial accounts in one place. In our next video, we'll talk about how to create your first spreadsheet using Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and learn all about the power of Tiller Money Peaks.